Hey everyone, so I just dropped these new artistic backgrounds that look so, I think they look so cool and romantic and floral and fun. And I created them using my um, my latest set of Photoshop brushes, which is like the floral and lace combination and using the color palettes that were included in there. And for all of these, I simply picked one color palette and layered on a couple, a few different brush strokes and added a little gold. And that's all I did. So the brushes do all the work for you. So I'm going to show you how I make something similar. And what's cool is when you make something like this using these tools, then you can sell it. You can create a digital paper pack. You can use it in your templates, uh, your printables, whatever. So here is one of the ones that I created that I just showed you. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of deconstruct it and show you the layers and show you the process of how I built that up. So for this one, I actually had drawn out some brush strokes and then, excuse me, drawn out some brush strokes and I kind of picked a color from there, this dark olive background. But first of all, we have the background and then we layered these vertical strokes on. So I use the color palette um, number five in this collection. And for the first ones, I used brush number three. So we're gonna go here to brush number three. I've got color palette number five and I just made some vertical strokes here like this and kind of just filled in this background like so and the brushes are just combining these colors and doing all the work and that's what we like and that looks a little funny here there we go all right so that's close enough this one was a little bit thicker but i can kind of thicken these up but it doesn't matter because the whole point is to make it your own and it doesn't have to look perfect and I just like, I never have any plan sometimes when I'm doing this. I just, you know, experiment and play and have fun with it. And then we've got some gold on here. And so what I'm gonna do, and I use brush number two, so let's, I just kind of pop some gold all around there. So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna pick brush number two. I don't need to change my color because it's gonna have the color overlay. And I'm gonna apply one of my uh, gold layer styles here. I think it was, I'll just put gold 1A, and this is from my 24 karat gold collection. So let's see how I did it here. So yeah, I just kind of put some gold all over. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. I think I might have actually added the gold after I put the layer on top, but for this demonstration sake, I'm just gonna kind of put some gold and not really worry about it being perfect. And that looks good enough. So then what did I do? Oh, then I, on top of the gold, I added some little flowers and this was brush number seven. So I'm gonna create a new layer, gonna grab brush number seven. What's cool is I never changed the color palette in this. And so then I'm just gonna add some little brush strokes vertically and it just kind of spaces these out. How pretty is that? I am loving it. I'm like, okay, just happy with my own work here. Don't mind me. And so I've got those flowers on top. And then I'm gonna create one last layer, it looks like, yeah. And this one I just kind of like, that actually is really nice as it is, but I kind of just wanted to go a little extra with it. So I made a new layer and I took brush number two. And what I did is I kind of like did some horizontal strokes with that brush number two for a little like, it's kind of a little harsher look, a harsher brush. And I just kind of went like this. So a lot of times, some of these I'm just kind of making a vertical stroke, making a horizontal stroke. And that turned out pretty darn similar. But honestly, now that my editing eye is out, I might take off that one. I think it looks kind of cool. But either way, it looks good. It, like it's a very cool romantic digital paper. And what's cool is that you made it yourself and, um, and it looks like super complicated. Like if you were to have to paint this, it would take ages. So that's what I love about my brushes is they can accomplish so much for you. And it's just really taking taking advantage of technology is the best. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. And these are available if you want to buy them as is. Or you can become a member and get all my products and follow along with my tutorials to create your own things.